All right, what is up, you beautiful people, and welcome back to the Heroes of the Storm Brawl. We are playing some Carax today. Let's get right to it, boys. Uh, Brawl modifiers, you can see them nice and clearly in front of you, boys. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do here, but I feel like it's going to have something to do with Crusher Ground uh, Carax here. I'm going to get the reconstruction, actually, because I'm crazy, boys. And now I'm gonna go for gas here, cause I feel like, like I feel like, like this way, sprawl. You just, you just hit the ground running, boys. If you don't hit the ground running, like, uh, you are potentially in for a bad time. I'm gonna get the scream here. I I'm just assuming my opponents have nothing to eat. Uh, oh, does reconstruction not benefit? Oh man, that's, man, that's wasted. Then I should have gotten that gas earlier, but whatever. A little sentinel here should help me win. Um, the sentry here is stimming up my Gary, so that's good. Uh, should help me win that fight right there. And uh, my sentinel got stolen, but yeah. Um. Looks like there is a Alarak, and I don't know who I'm up against here, but enemy got lucky. Oh my god, never mind, they didn't get lucky, boys. He's gonna need that luck. We got double Tychus here, boys. That's that's crazy. What's the plan? Insane. But also, hello, hello. I put a P there by accident. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, if you guys roll Tychus this week, ooh, that's that's some that's some insane luck. Uh, but yeah. I think uh, I think with the with every time like a really fancy brawl comes out, like a really fun brawl comes out, I always my my, my view counts always go up, and uh, you know what? I'm a fan of that. I know you guys are a fan of that too. It's my daily bunch video to watch with. Yes, sir. Yo, that is exactly like when I started this channel, guys. That was the exact goal. I was hoping you guys would eat lunch to this. So yes, I guess I succeeded there. A hey. love to hear it. Ah. There we go. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's just let's just run it down here with some ground characters. Uh, so I'm against the Haka. Ooh, what do I do against the Haka? Um, hmm. I can't really get through this scary really well though, because uh, the double dock is a little bit is holding me back a little bit here. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go for the classic ground Karax. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be good. I think I'll probably want red line power cells actually. Do I get attack speed as well? Yeah, I do get attack speed. Uh, so let's get red line power cells here, and then let's get shadow cannon times one, and then we'll get some more of them here, and then I can probably put down some heavy defenses here. So this side will be a little bit more thick, but yeah. I think with enough shadow cannons, we should we should be able to make it through here. Boom, okay, there we go. Did that Nihiler get the kill? He got the kill, boys. It doesn't even matter, it's not unstoppable anymore, but you know, like, it's just good to know. It's like, like did I pay off? You know, Boswell's red line power cells here. Wait, Boswell's gonna take bonus damage from Vega now. Oh man. Vega stole one of my annihilators though. Uh there we go. I'm gonna put that down here. Yeah, I think Boswell Boswell honestly is like also not too bad, I think. Because his potential damage output is pretty crazy. I'm gonna evolve primal regeneration here. It's not gonna heal my Protoss shields, but it will heal my Protoss boys. Um so yeah, like I think I think ground character should be good. The only issue is if your opponent goes air, because I think Mirage is really suffer against Gary, I think. Uh, but we'll see. Alarak's already tier 3 here. Alarak mirror match here, but he's got the first Wrathwalker, so potentially very good for us. Uh, potentially very good for us. Um, let's see, do I need a Mirage? Uh, okay, there's a lot of Ravisaurs. Well, Ravisaurs I'm not too scared about, because they don't really do anything towards us as a whole. Um, there we go, there we go. Like, Ravisaurs just get completely wiped out by my Annihilators, so I'm not really too worried about them. Um, unfortunately, Vega's gonna steal my Annihilator here, and it's gonna annihilate my Annihilator, and just, I guess... At least it works, you know? Uh, product description is accurate. <laughs> it does the thing where it, it, it removes things. Um, but yeah, there we go. Danby here got so lucky, boys. Like this is the Tychus dream. If you're playing Tychus this week and you roll double Tychus, like just close your eyes and uh, don't don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Close your eyes. Don't mess it up because uh, your DPS output is gonna be through the roof. Like you know, like the only thing limiting Tychus is the fact that he can't buy more Tychus. Um, I'll be honest. I think like Sam's pretty good, but like Sam lacks the health. And if Tychus's grenade did not have a universal cooldown, oh my god, double Tychus would be insane. My beam is coming up though, so we're gonna. We're gonna drop a fat one here, real soon. Um, I'm gonna upgrade my weapon damage here, because I'm crazy. I prefer weapon damage over anything else, I'll be honest. I'm a pretty aggro-based player. You know, just just kill him. If you kill him, you don't need the armor, you know? Um, 
Oh, that's a lie, boys. There's probably better situations where the armor would be useful. Uh huh. I'm just gonna go beam time. Where's the beam going? I don't know, boys. It's on Gary though, so that's good. I'll drop a little scan to help it out because the beam's not the smartest thing. Uh, and this is the Tychus wave too, so like our Tychus is hopefully gonna go to town. I've opened the gates for him. He's got double Tychus Sam's. He's gonna just shred that cannon here. Oh yeah, boys. That's how it's done. Yeah, I think I think Carax honestly like is uh, he he every week he, that like there's a, like a lot of units. Uh, or like some potential to push hard, Karax is always gonna always gonna shine through. I put him in the C tier though because Karax does have some pretty critical weaknesses. Uh, but you know, we can always look past those. I'm gonna gas here, and then the next beam will probably win the game. Maybe I don't know. We'll see here. Uh, but yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. I just I just don't like the fact that Karax ground can't deal with with anything in the air. You know, like you're just completely helpless. If your opponents decide to fly. Karax is like, yeah, we're like the most advanced Protoss, like, ever. Like, we got all the technology and stuff, but unfortunately, like, if they're in the sky, boys, like, I can't help you, dude. Like, you call tech support, and it's like, how come, how come we advance species, no able shoot fly unit? Oh my god, <laughs> Big Bang host here, just getting wiped here, oh my god. You hate to see it, boys, but that is the tightest matchup, boys. <laughs> That is a Tychus matchup. You just gotta say, Sam, I am. I am Sam. Unfortunately, that's not too good against the uh, the Wrathwalkers, though, so at least there's that redeeming factor. But our Alarak has more Wrathwalkers, so there's that. Um, is it safe for me to do a carrier transition? Is that is it is, is that a is that an idea? Ah, oh, there's a Vega too, man. Boys, this is not it. I'm gonna get Advanced Reconstruction Beam here, because I have more than five units now that could benefit from it. Um, yeah, boys, I think it's time to get one point in armor. Let's see. I'll get one point in armor. We'll probably use it. Uh, do I need a scan? The answer is no. I just... I was just done playing Raynor, guys. So that's why I'm just like, do I need a scan, boys? Um, let's see. Annihilator's here doing their best job, but just not enough. Not enough. Need more Annihilators, actually. Okay. Ooh, baby. Look at those, look at those sand grenades here. Oh, man. Beauty. Enemy Sams have those shade suits, but the shade suits are quite expensive. I don't think it's actually what you want um, in this matchup here. Do I have more space for annihilators? Oh yeah, I do. Okay. There we go. I got some more annihilators here. Sentinels are important because they are here to uh, protect your wave. Um, they're just they're just there to screen the annihilators. That's basically it. Uh, and they're also really good against the uh, Ravisaurs, because they get up real close, and Ravisaurs uh, don't really do too well. They don't have too much health. Um, so yeah. Let's go for some more weapon upgrades here, shall we? I'm crazy like that. Uh, let's get some more. I should probably save the Annihilation Cannons for the Tychus wave. Yeah, that's the wave I need it the most. Uh, Tychus has two Vegas, and they're just stealing my Annihilators. Um, unfortunately, Annihilators are also very good against themselves. Um... Uh, but that also means this wave is terrible against um, our Tychus's wave, so there's at least that going for us. Um, so yeah, I'm not too mad. We'll just get some more annihilators here. Yeah, I'm gonna try micro the annihilators. Like, what happens if I annihilate Tychus's wave instead of um, the Haka's wave? Because I think I think my Ravisaurs can. I mean, not my Ravisaurs. My Sentinels can take care of the Ravisaurs, and the annihilators regular auto attack should cut it too. Oh baby, our Alarak is just going to outmatch our opponents here, um, and yeah, there's no way. Tier 3 Blaze here at the front as well. Wait, our Alarak is Tier 3 Blaze? Man, he just got blessed, boys. He got blessed. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't need Annihilator Cannons to finish off these Ravisaurs, there's like three of them left. Um, Sentinels should just pile in there and clean house, and then that's basically it. And then we're just going to Annihilate the Tychus Wave here, how did that work? That worked okay, I suppose. We made a bigger dent. We made a bigger dent, actually. A little bigger dent. I like that, I like that. Uh, let's keep going, man. I'm just gonna try and help out my Tychus as much as possible. Yeah, so that, like, there's... Like, because our Tychus is pure DPS. Just, you know... Like, high-protein diet level pure DPS or something like that. <laughs> uh, let's just put this down over here. How many Annihilators do I have? I only have eight. I need to get more. 8 is not enough. Although, Beam is about to come up soon. I'm gonna turn off the Auto Annihilator Blast here. But yeah, having a tier 3 Blaze is unbeatable if you're in an Alarak mirror match. Like, that's just... That's just... 
that's just RNG, boys. You just win here. I think we're going to have to get some carriers, though, by the looks of it. Uh, there is some Mutalists coming out here. Uh, all right, Sentinels, come on. Also, the, the advantage of putting yourself in a V-shaped formation is not all your Sentinels get set on fire, uh, which is great. Okay. Please tell me they use the Annihilation Blast on something that is not a structure. That's the worst thing, if they didn't use it on a like non-structure target. But yeah, let's see. Uh, that's what I was doing all right. Oh, where are the Sam Grenades? Oh, there they are. There they are. There's a Sam here still. The only problem is like Sam's not great into uh, all these Tychus units. Like Those Tychus units will kick your butt. 100% uh, non-negotiable. I'm gonna put down another, another, another energizer here. Energizing is is good, um, but maybe I will beam on the Alarak wave because Alarak's wave is the one that's holding it down right now. And so if I beam on Alarak's wave, and it's a good one, it should be good. But it's looking like we are gonna need to use our annihilator cannons here, like right away. Um, Let's see, how are we going to do here? Sentinels should just go to town here. There we go. So I might have to beam on this way. Let's see, I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, what do I think? Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Is this wave going to win almost completely? It's like kind of. It's kind of winning almost completely, so let's just drop the beam on Alarax wave here. There we go, come on. Okay, I'm gonna put down a carrier. Boom. Boom. There we go. I don't know why I put down a carrier. I feel like we're gonna need that fire support though, so we'll just have to go for it. Uh, that beam. Did it do enough though? Did it do enough? I am not sure. It did leave a pretty lasting dent though, because our Alarax wave is still alive. Oh, okay, don't use that yet. Don't use that yet. Don't use that yet. Okay, now use it. Now use it. Because this is a pretty anti tychus build here. We got the other Annihilators here. We got the we got the Wrathwalkers here. Like, that's going to start tearing things apart. Oh, yeah. Okay, that beam definitely upset the balance, boys. Definitely upset the balance here. Can we... I'm going to upgrade my weapons a little bit more. Oh, yeah, we got it. We got it, boys. Woo! Clean it up here, boys. So yeah, if you guys know what you're doing with your tech, with your with your Karax beam, like Karax definitely very powerful. I uh, probably would have made a full carry transition there uh, in the long run. Um, but yeah, I think Annihilator's ground Karax seems pretty good. Let's get the overview here. I didn't do that much damage. Took a lot of damage. That's just usually how this build goes. Because uh, the Sentinels just they just die twice, and then our Alarak just went to town, and so did our Tychus. So I guess that was, that was pretty good. Yeah, we had we had a lot of DPS on our team, so that's good. If you don't have DPS on your team, I think Karax is like, oh, it's a little bit of an oofer there. Because your Sentinels don't really do too much damage. But that being said, this video is kind of short. So uh, we're going to have to uh, do this again and hope for the best. Let's go. All right, we're back. Let's go. You just got to hit the ground running, boys. I love this brawl because it's like that sense of urgency. But also I'm trying to like place all my units down. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. So I probably don't need to... I'm just gonna go for more sentinels actually. So I don't need reconstruction really just yet. So I'm gonna go for charge and then we're gonna go for that. Let's go. Let's get it boys. I'd rather just have more sentinels here. Because the charge also helps them do more damage. We got a swan on our team. Danby's playing some swan here. Yeah, Danby's back. There we go, that's nice. Let's get some healing here. Let's get some I'm gonna get a shout. Shout is overall probably gonna be your best bet here. We do have some Oh, that's a... is that a no, okay. Not that... Okay. Oh, he has a he has a guy. He has the guy boy thing, um, Boswell, Lamel. And I'm gonna drop a Nux Storm here to help out my boy Gary. There we go. Don't even have reconstruction yet. Let's get reconstruction now. Um, can I eat these turns or are they heroic? <laughs> like, theoretically, I should be able to, but uh, I don't know. Let's see. Um, I guess I'm gonna put this down here. What is Windigo playing? Is Windigo also playing? Uh, no, that's not helpful. Where's your hero? Where's your hero, boys? Okay, well, yeah, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna put this down over here. I'm probably gonna do the exact same thing. I don't know, we'll have to see what we're up against. But I know I need tier two at least, because tier one Karax is not it, boys. Tier one Karax is just a bunch of Sentinels. Um, 
Yeah, I wish, I wish, I wish like the Protoss commanders had more of their okay, had more of their diverse units available to them. Uh, ooh, ooh, look at that AOE. I, I actually got pretty lucky with this Nux pull then, because we're getting some Stukov. I think I can probably bully Stukov by doing ground. Um, I just have to be careful of Banshees. I can probably just buy a few uh, Mirages to take care of them. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think. Oh, Nux just got ragdolled there. Holy. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna need Colossi though. I'm gonna need Colossi for sure. So let's just straight up go to tier three like a madman. If I don't go right, if I don't go right now, like we're gonna be a little bit of trouble here. Um. So yeah. Yeah, there's a Manx bunker here. Oh, Manx in the second position, and then Tychus in the last position. That's gonna be tough to push into. This one is gonna have to be one of those. This is gonna depend all on how well I use my beam. I think if I were to win this one. Um, so let's hope I use my beam in a smart way, and the beam decides to be smart as well, um, because otherwise <laughs> we're in a bit of a bad spot here. There we go. Nux blast here is still gonna be quite helpful. Gary is gonna be so helpful dealing with Stukov's baby units here. Stukov needs Diamondbacks and needs them now. Um, that is really the recommendation. You know, no Diamondbacks, you're basically kind of toasted here. Our little laser beam gonna help us out with that as well. We're tier three now, boys. There we go. I'm gonna drop that here. There's an Aegis Guard. I'm gonna drop a little ping here to help out my ally. See, Danby's going straight for the tanks. That is a good decision, boys. This week is the week to buy straight tanks if you're down for it. I'm gonna put the Colossus right over here so that everything's stacked normally. I'm gonna just get one of these bad boys. And, uh, oh no, but yeah, if they micro and eat it, it's gonna be real bad. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's gonna, it's going well. I'll just have to buy two. I don't know. We'll just have to see here. Uh, I have no idea what my ally is here. Ooh, I can put my Kedar model at the front. I do, don't, usually don't want to do that, though. Usually don't want to do that. Let's see. Um, the Hawk going to get another point in heal, probably. Did he steal it? Oh, man, he stole it, boys. He stole it, boys. He stole it. I'm sad. Let's have to buy a second one. Ah, man. Or maybe just have it come in close, like, a little bit later. That's the uh, problem with everybody having a Tychus hero. <laughs> They're just like, huh, nice, nice unit here, boys. I'm just gonna borrow it for a second there. Um, there we go. Uh, should I just get more Sentinels right now? Hmm. Could we go for some Annihilators? I don't know. Let's see. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Everything's telling me not to get Annihilators though. Yeah, let's buy some Sentinels. Extend our line. Extend our distract. Oh, we got in. Oh, Windigo's playing some Vorazoon here. Full stealth Vorazoon. That's crazy. Okay. Uh huh. -huh. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. My Colossus should be just far back enough that, like. Yeah, he's gonna be dropping out the DPS here. Pretty nicely, and like I need the sentinels to hold the enemy units there too. Yeah, there we go. He gets eaten. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Right in my belly, boys. Uh, now the question is, who should I beam? Because I'm gonna try and use it on uh, on on off cooldown. So I'm just gonna go right here. This beam here should just tear through the enemy front line here. It's gonna start ripping through enemy Gary, uh, and hopefully rip through that Aegis guard as well. Oh, that's gonna be phenomenal. There we go. I'm gonna put two Colossus down. Inside of you are two Colossus. One gets eaten and the other one keeps going. Um, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna enhance targeting and let's go to let's get second gas here. I think it's about time. We've been having middle, but like barely, barely contesting middle. Ah, oh, but Vega's here, boys. Oh, Vega, man, man. All right, my class is 100% gonna get stolen here. Unless, actually, no, I didn't get stolen. Okay. My Sentinels here should be able to hold those units here for long enough for my Colossus to go to town here. They're just setting the ground on fire. Yeah, Sentinel's gonna revive now. Just getting through enemy Dahak is gonna be a little bit of a problem, but it looks like we're gonna be able to do it here, boys. Colossus here. Double Colossus. I'm not gonna really go more than that. Maybe if the, if the, if the game keeps progressing, I'll get another one or two. Uh, but mostly because Colossus are very vulnerable to Manx. Um, Sky Theories, and I'll probably have to get some Mirages to uh, help him out here. And the Colossus here just gonna go to town. There we go, let's get an Annihilator. 
I'm, I'm down for some Annihilator action now. There we go. Oh. If only Karax had something that could shoot up as well. Like, I feel like I feel like it'll just... It, it wouldn't, like, solve all of his problems with the ground units, but it would definitely make ground Karax much stronger. Uh, maybe that's the problem. Ground Karax doesn't need to be stronger. <laughs> maybe that's the problem, right? Uh, but yeah. Because ground Karax, I would say, is, is fairly strong. His only real meaningful weakness is he has no unit that shoots up. That's it. I don't know if it's a meaningful weakness. I feel like it's a weakness that, like, doesn't make any sense. Um, if he had a ground unit that could shoot up, but it was just kind of not that great, I feel like that would be better. It would still be like, you know, he, he sort of would have to go air. And Karax's air weakness is like, if you're oh, enemy, enemy Manx just decided to leave here, boys. Um, that is either a good thing or a bad thing, because we're going to be up against a bunch of Tykes. Oh, God, a bunch of Tykes here, boys. There we go. Let's put down some more. Let's put, put down some more. Oh, how come you didn't fit in there the first time? There we go. Um, oh, it's gonna be double. What? Our opponents just left the game, boys. Are they salty about their Tychus teammate? I bet they're salty about their Tychus teammate. That's usually what it is. They're just like, yeah, I'm gonna leave. I'm angry. Come on, boys. Just play it out, boys. You know? Now they are after losing <laughs> wave after wave. Uh, I don't know, boys. But it's like, you know, it's hard to tell what's happening. But yeah, I think uh, this composition here should be able to like go through this Tychus wave pretty nicely. Yeah, this Tychus wave is not built to fight this comp. Um, it's I don't know actually what it's built to fight actually. It's got a bit of everything. Um, so yeah. I feel like it's I feel like you learn you, you miss out on quite a bit uh, just leaving, I would say, because like, you know it's always good to see how far can you push your limits, you know, like can I carry a, a team? By myself, you know? Or how how much can I do to offset my team, you know? That's what I'm always curious about, right? Um, some commanders have more ability to do so than others. Like, I def I think definitely when Manx was first released, his ability to offset his team was pretty insane. And by that, I mean, like, he would just... You could probably solo carry, almost. Um, okay, Shadow Guard getting, getting knocked right there. Um, let's see. So we already have air units, so I, just, I think just consistently going more ground is cor the correct move here. I'm going to upgrade my damage output on my ground units here, so they do even more damage. Annihilator is just going to push right through. They're going to push right through. Put right through? Push right through. Let's go. Um, Colossus in the back actually doing a great job with the fire support. Um, there we go. Actual, like, it's literally fire support. They're putting down fire. Uh, we got some cyclones coming here from Danby here, and then we got four tanks in the back to support. Good choice. I'm thinking for Swan, like your most steady bet this week is probably just going mass cyclones because there's so many heroes. Like it, you can't go wrong with it unless you're against like a Stukov who's just like, huh, <laughs> boys. We're gonna summon some boys. Let's get them. Um, but yeah. Void Rays, unfortunately, are not good against anything that's not armored, though, so, yeah. Good thing Enemy Tychus has quite a few of those units that are armored. I'm gonna increase my armor here by a little bit. I'm gonna increase my advanced repair systems by a little bit. Um, Sentinels here are just gonna go to town. Uh, but they're also gonna blow up here, but that's okay. That's what they're here for. They're here to come back a second time. Um, Sentinels are ridiculously good because of their revivability. See, that's the thing. I like I, If if Karax had a ground, like, a, had a ground anti-air unit, and he might just be too good. He might just be too good, you know? That might just be it, right? Because, uh, no lie, Karak's ground is, is pretty, pretty strong. If you know what you're doing. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I feel like right now I need more Annihilators. Because um, the Sentinels, I think Sirius has a Detonator. Oh, he does not have a Detonator. Okay, then I guess I, I just died to a grenade or something. Uh, you know what I do need more of? I need more Stim. I need some more Energizers here. Uh, Warzone Black Hole, boys. That is bullying. Uh, because we're going to have a laser beam coming right up here. So, uh... <sighs> that's the timing, boys. That's the timing. Let's do it. Uh, am I going to laser beam this wave or am I going to laser beam the next wave? Hmm. That is a good question. I'm going to laser beam this wave. Let's go. Let's just go wave after wave. Upgrade my shields here. Uh, there we go. Ah, hmm. should I have laser beam the wave after that one? I think I probably should have laser beam this one. I don't know. 
this one will just let me cut through the Dehaka at least. Okay, the Haka's going down. Yeah, I don't know. Enemy Tychus is still kind of strong here, but yeah, that's looking like our Swan is able to uh, get through like the wave faster. Let's see. That's well, almost eight Immortals. Um, let's just put down some more Sentinels, boys. Get them Sentinels here. Get them rolling in. Get them pushing up here. There we go. It is 12 minutes though, so I'm going to go for another gas. It does not look like we're going to be pushing through this anytime soon, I'll be honest. I think if Vorzun just hard committed to DTs, like that could probably work out. DTs are really good against Tychus. Like, unless he unless he goes Sam, like DTs are ridiculously strong against Tychus. Uh, they are absolutely stupidly strong here. Sentinels are still alive here, so they're going to keep cutting through. Uh, no problem, but it's looking like we're having less and less units left after each push. So that is bad. That is bad. Uh, you know, like how the sheep say it. Bad. Um, okay, the tanks are stacking up pretty nicely here. Cyclone's doing a good job here. Uh, I just noticed... Oh, oh, there it is. That's our laser beam. Okay, um... Is it time for more Colossus? It might be time for more Colossus. I don't know. Colossus are quite expensive, though. Um, but their AoE is quite valuable as well. I just feel like Vorzun's uh, Void Rays are not it against most of these units. Against most of these units, it's not it. Um, I don't know. Because I do like baby damage to Tychus. Like, Tychus just like, laughs. Laughs in not armored unit. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna have to upgrade my Dahaka later. There we go. Oh, he does have a detonator there. Okay, I swear that's like he has a detonator, right? Yeah, the detonator is pretty strong. Um, I probably need another Colossus actually. Like, the game's gone on long enough that another Colossus wouldn't be bad because Colossus does quite a lot of damage per auto attack that it does as well. So. I'm gonna get some more healing. I don't need any more points in bite because Tychus has nothing to eat. Uh, he's literally inedible. Cannot be eaten. There we go. Because the Colossus laser does 24 damage, hits twice. Um, so overall, pretty good. We're gonna have to do our beam combo again, probably. Um, I don't know. There we go. Void Rays are gonna eventually cut it here. The good thing is they are gonna be safe against Sirius. Uh, cause they are all the way in the back. So the detonator is not really gonna get to them. I feel like my formation is a little too tight at this point. Um, my energizers are still alive. Okay, that's the best, most important part. Uh, I feel like I needed to maybe expand. Oh yeah, all my sentinels are just getting detonated on. Um, but there's no, there's no going around that. I think um, sentinels are just getting slapped here. Uh, maybe I could transition to getting some carriers because if I force Vegas, then like. That's pretty good. I don't know, because Vega's generally really bad into the stuff we have going on here. I don't know, boys. Mm, but then I'm getting carriers. I don't know, boys. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. We're going for it. We're going for it, boys. Uh, maybe I shouldn't put it up that front. I'll put it, like, right here. But, yeah. Uh, so it seems like the air fleet is doing a... A pretty good number here. If I can just go full carriers, we'll see how that goes. Because uh, carrier DPS is not to be trifled with. Um, and I just gotta get them to stack up slowly. Carriers actually bypass Blaze um, pretty nicely as well. Uh, the only bad part is carriers are really bad against Gary. Like Gary, just look at look at him. He's going he's going right through that carrier like it's nothing. Um, that's just the sad po sad part, boys. Um, but, you know, I can buy multiple carriers. He can only have one Gary, so eventually we will win. Uh, let's get Intimidating War level 2. If I can get it to reduce enemy armor, that would be even better. Because uh, carriers really need all the help they can get on the damage part. Um, let's see. Do I have enough carriers to get repair drones? Yeah, I do. Let's go repair drones, graviton, catapult. Send them out there. Uh, it's probably time to upgrade air weapons at some point. Soon, TM. Uh, but yeah. Okay, he's got two Vegas now. I feel like that's probably already a hard counter. Like, two Vegas is probably already too much. 
Uh, we'll have to see here. We'll have to see here, boys. I mean, Vega brings the carriers to the ground, but, you know, she doesn't have her mind control up. It's not really that lethal. Uh, it's just like the next wave, right? Yeah, the next wave is where it's going to be problematic, because Vega can still steal them or, or do stuff to them, such as ground them like that. But Vega's not great at dealing damage, though. Um, so, I don't know. She's only strong with the uh, steel, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, oh, baby. I just gotta keep going for carriers, boys. And maybe I can just drop a fat beam on this wave here, maybe? Um, hmm. Upgrade my weapons here. And it's time to go for a fourth gas at this point. Uh huh. I'm gonna drop a scan here. Oh my god, it's the beam toilet, boys! Well, there's no going around that. That's like, that's just, that's just it, boys. Like, beam toilet is like, oh my god. You should always scan for your beam so your beam knows what's up. Sometimes the beam just sits there because it can't see. But, you know, the beam's not smart, you know? Beam is like me, I'm, me, I'm not smart. Me, I'm programmed, and my code has never been upgraded for a thousand years. What are Zerg? Uh, so hopefully this will be enough DPS. Is this enough? Oh yeah, that's gonna end the game here, boys. There we go. Otherwise, we would probably have been locked in this sort of battle for quite some time here. But there we go, boys. Woo! I mean, definitely beatable. You just gotta use your abilities. I think that's what makes Karak super strong with the ability. Oh my god, I actually did a lot of damage. What the heck? Damn, okay. Alright. I don't know. Uh, was it my Colossus? Uh, was it my Sentinels? I don't know. It's just, just a combination of everything, I guess. I don't know. So, that's pretty good. I, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Nothing else to say. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later. The tires. Let's light some fires. Need a light. They picked the wrong fight.